no significant storms moving in. It's the case we had today and especially for your Mother's Day. Right now, temperatures have fallen back into the 40s. We hit 65 this afternoon in Grand Rapids just four hours ago, already down into the 40s. And east wind at 10 to 12 miles per hour continuing to drop overnight tonight. So well, today was the sunniest day since January 21st. 100% of our possible sunshine here in West Michigan. A really, really nice day. And with temperatures in the upper 60s, 70s in Muskegon, it was a picture perfect pleasant day. More sun will be tomorrow. We'll have some afternoon clouds, mainly high and mid-level clouds, no precipitation moving in with it. And then it'll bring in some warmer weather with breezy conditions on Monday. And we'll be hitting the 80s by the time we get to Tuesday. So right now on the satellite and radar, it doesn't look like there's anything out there. And that's because we don't have any clouds either. We're in the sweet spot of the system that moved out of our area uh, yesterday and then the next system setting up and that's what's going to bring cloud cover. But the precipitation is actually going to dry out by the time it gets to uh, Lake Michigan tomorrow night. So a really nice setup for us. You can see the breezy conditions out there as well ahead of that system. We're going to see the breezy conditions on Monday. Tomorrow won't be too bad. We'll have a light southeast wind at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. But right now winds are fairly light over lower Michigan as well. And as for temperatures, we're in the 40s here with the clear skies. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s for these evening temperatures, that's what we're going to be seeing into the middle of next week. Some of our lows won't even get below 60 degrees. It's going to be a real nice uh, midsummer stretch for us with those temperatures in the 70s and eventually four or five days in a row in the 80s. Here's the future track, and you can see the east wind turns southeast going into tomorrow morning. Your Mother's Day is going to be picture perfect outside of a few, a uh, couple hours of temperatures in the 30s, especially Grand Rapids to the north and east. You may even see some patchy frost up near Big Rapids and Mount Pleasant, Mount Calm County area. Otherwise, a really nice stretch sets in. Afternoon clouds again. All the precipitation will continue to miss us to the east and, or excuse me, to the west and northwest. Otherwise. Just the passing clouds and going into Monday, we're going to see the clouds clear out once again. And that system continues to stay out to the west. And we're going to see mostly sunny skies again for your Monday. It's going to be a really nice next couple of days. I don't think we have a really good shot at any precipitation in West Michigan until we get to the middle of the work week. So here's the lows tonight. I mentioned patchy frost possible. Ionia County off to the north and east where the temperatures are in the 30s everywhere else going to be in the lower 40s and tomorrow's high temperatures mid to upper 60s. I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of us touched 70 like Muskegon did today again with that east southeast wind areas along the Lake Michigan shoreline not getting that cooler air off of Lake Michigan. So a good opportunity to touch that 70 degree line. Here's a look at those winds tomorrow afternoon going to be out of the south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Could see a couple of gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour, but it won't be too bad. The breezy conditions really arrive on Monday where gusts will be upwards of 30 to 35 miles per hour, but that's driving in the warmer temperatures as we get into Tuesday. So here's a closer look at the uh, Mother's Day forecast for us. Temperatures in the morning again in the 30s, but by the time we get to 9 a.m., we'll already be nearing that 50 degree mark. Temperatures going to be into the 60s by 2 p.m. and the upper 60s by dinner time. A really, really nice day. And then going into Tuesday, temperatures back to the 80s. Uh, the chance of an isolated shower is mostly likely on Wednesday, but it still is a very low chance. Otherwise, temperatures stay in the mid 80s through Saturday, and we'll see another chance of showers pick up.